Hey, Replay viewers, thank you for watching Far East Adventure Travel Live at Taiyuan Station here, the bullet train in Taipei, Taiwan. Welcome. This is also a taping of my Far East Adventure Travel podcast, so I'm welcoming all of my podcast followers as well to Far East Adventure Travel Live in Taipei, Taiwan. Hey everybody, John Tabo live here in Taipei, Taiwan. I'm at the uh, bullet train, or as they call it here, the HSR, the high speed rail in Taipei, Taiwan. How are you? I'm, I'm going to, it, this is a little bit of, of a complicated uh, broadcast here today, so uh, pardon me if I don't answer or see your comments right away, but I will be watching the comments in a bit, but I'm not, as I'm speaking to you on camera, I'm not, because I'm also taping for uh, one of my podcasts as well, so I'm just, I just want to welcome everybody to uh, Taipei, Taiwan. Actually, this is Taiyuan District. This is outside of Taipei. This is close to Taiyuan International Airport. And uh, for the first time ever, I am recording also for my Far East Adventure Travel podcast. So I want to say hello to all of my followers uh, in the iTunes store and my website, Far East Adventure Travel. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit of this uh, just outside of the train station here. Hello. Thank you for watching. And Jevons, everybody. Hello. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit just the outside of the station here. They've also got a brand new MRT station, which is really cool. And uh, so I'm going to uh, show you uh, some of that stuff. And also, um, pardon me for a sec, uh, I want to show you my uh, little bit of a, a ride that I took out here as well. So this is uh, the outside of the station here. And uh, there's several. It actually takes from uh, Taipei uh, all the way to the uh, southern end of the island. It, uh, it can take as little as 90 minutes, 90 minutes to get all the way there. The, speed, the uh, high speed rail runs at uh, 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 maximum speed of 300 kilometers an hour. So it's uh, pretty cool. So this is, I just want to show you, this is the first part of my journey here today. So this is uh, the uh, uh, bullet train station here at uh, Taiyuan, and uh, Taiyuan is the fifth biggest city in uh, Taiwan, and there's a lot of tech companies out here. HTC, who you, you might have one of their phones, uh, their big uh, 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 factory or installation is out here as well. Hello, yeah, yeah, say hi, I can watch your comments now. Um, I'm also recording for my podcast, Far East Adventure Travel, that you can uh, see and hear in the iTunes store. So I want to welcome all my Far East Adventure Travel podcast viewers and followers as well. This, okay, this is the new uh, MT station that they've been building. It's been five years in the works. It's taking them five years. Oh, Oklahoma, hello, hello. Yeah, give me a shout out where you are. Let me say uh, hello to you from California. Hello, thank you. I'll give a nice hello if you give me a shout out where you're from. 
And I know I have uh, viewers all over the world watching the podcast as well. So this is the new MRT station here. Uh, how much does it cost? Uh, well, the MRT, the, 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 the high-speed rail can cost up to 50, about 45, I think 45 US dollars for a standard, um, uh, hey, Flying Walker, uh, for a, a standard uh, um, a ticket all the way to the south, but out here about five bucks. Thanks for watching. Flying Walker from uh, Thailand. How are you, my friend? Um, this is the new MRT station here. So uh, it's, taken, it's taken about five years for them to build this thing. And um, it's going to cost from uh, downtown Taipei all the way out to the airport. Yes, Turkey. It's fantastic. Merhaba, my friend. Uh, it's going to take, um, I think, about 40 minutes, something like that. And it's five bucks, like five bucks to get back and forth. So it's going to be really huge for um, Taipei, especially because a lot of people that transit through Taipei will now have time and it'll be super convenient for them to travel from the airport to downtown Taipei, check out the sites, see a few things if they're sort of on a, a, a shorter layover. So that will be kind of cool. Thank you for inviting your followers. Feel free to uh, share the broadcast with your friends and followers. Thank you so much for watching. This is, uh, we're gonna head over to this outlet mall here because they've got a lot of uh, Christmas lights around. And I've got quite a, I gotta have to tell you guys, like uh, for scopers, I've, I've got quite a setup here. I have three devices running right now in order to run this uh, program. Um, I'm recording this for my podcast. And I'm also bringing this to you live with uh, extra video goodies. So let's, uh, let's head down this way. This is a lot of fun. I've been working on this for several weeks, actually, um, and testing this program out. So this is the first time I'm actually using this live on location here in Taiwan. And uh, I have, uh, for all you scopers, I've, most people won't care, but I have uh, three devices working right now in order to bring you this broadcast the way it is with the intro, extra, and I'm able to uh, use this for my podcast as well, which is really cool. And that was the whole point. That was the whole point. So this is, oh, I think we've got a green light. Let's move it. We're heading over to the mall to see some lights, some more Christmas lights out here. Hamburg, hello. I just want to make sure I don't get killed. Yeah, I got a red light already, so I'm going to be stuck in this island here for a sec. Hey, thanks so much for the hearts, by the way. This is, uh, uh, yeah, I, I have to tell you guys something. I'm in the dark here. I don't know if you'll be able to see me very well. Um, this uh, shopping mall we're about to walk around, it's the quietest, quietest one in Taiwan. <laughs> this is the quiet, this, this actually, this shopping mall reminds me of being in, in the U.S. or Canada in the suburbs, and it's unprecedented in, in Taiwan. In Taiwan, you go to any malls or any shopping area, it's packed always, and it's so quiet out here, so you'll get to see that. Hello, Taiwan. Uh, good evening in Taiwan. Okay, Istanbul. Yeah, we got all the people from Turkey, and that's Erhan, who is a great guy, great scoper, who is from Turkey, but he also scopes in Thailand, who's joined us as well, which is cool, and we got Jevons and everybody else. Toronto, how are you? Thanks for watching. Well, it must be early there. It's uh, after 5 p.m. here. The sun's just set. It gets dark really fast in the east here. Can you hear all the traffic? San Francisco, how are you? Uh, let's look at the traffic coming our way. That's awesome. Thanks. And uh, I also just want to drop a note to uh, my podcast viewers as well that are watching this uh, replay on the podcast that uh, I really appreciate you subscribing to Far East Adventure Travel. And if you really do enjoy the show uh, and the broadcast. I've been uh, 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 producing Far East Adventure Travel podcast for two and a half years. If you uh, would be so kind as to write a, uh, a nice review for me in the iTunes store, I would really appreciate that because it does help me in my rankings. And uh, very good news this past week. I found out that uh, the podcast was, is now featured in the travel guide section of the iTunes store in the United States, which is really cool. So that's very cool and really nice. This is called the Gloria Outlet. So we're going to take a little spin around here. I came out here because I heard the lights were really nice. And, um, you know, it's four days to Christmas. So let's have a look around. They're playing some Christmas music out here. And uh, look how quiet it is. This is the uh, entrance and exit to the new MRT station here. This is a big deal. Five years in the making. Can you imagine, like, running a track from downtown Taipei? I mean, it's it's... I don't know how many kilometers it is, all the way out to the airport here, which normally takes about an hour by bus, 50, 50 minutes by bus uh, from, from downtown 
Taipei uh, to get down to the uh, Air International Airport here. And this is just uh, a marvel of engineering, but you know, they're doing testing right now. I saw one of the uh, cars go by earlier. Hello, Mexico City, how are you? Uh, I saw one of the uh, cars go by earlier and they're doing lots of tests. So within the next two, three months or so, I think they're gonna open up this uh, MRT line. So it's gonna be really cool for everybody coming and going in, because of course I travel a lot. It's very, very convenient for me. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, hello to you. Hello, Mexico. Anna, how are you? Thanks for watching. I love Anna, uh, who uh, screenshots uh, all, a lot of my podcasts or my um, broadcasts on Periscope and sends me all these lovely uh, screenshots. It's so nice to get those. And this is the mall here. What is kind of cool, they've got a great big giant globe. But look how quiet, this is crazy for Taiwan. I gotta tell you guys to come, and I don't know if Jevons, if you agree with me, but I mean, this is just so crazy to walk into a shopping complex here in Taiwan, and there's like, look at this. Now, I know it's Wednesday night, but there's nobody here. <laughs> Isn't this great? Do you ever come out here, Jevons? Jevons is from, uh, is from Taiwan, uh, to my uh, podcast viewers who may not be familiar with him. And uh, he always interjects some really, really interesting things from a, a Taiwanese point of view. You've been here, yeah, cool. No, it's not that big of a deal, my friend. And I will tell you, um, and I, I mentioned this on a couple of my broadcasts uh, uh, regarding Christmas, that uh, as a Westerner here in Taiwan that grew up with Christmas, uh, it, 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 it's nice, it's a nice uh, setting. They have lovely lights, actually some of the best lighting I've ever seen anywhere, anywhere in Canada, I'll tell you. The, the, the decorations and the lighting are, are world class. Um, but the thing is, is that it doesn't have that oomph, you know, it doesn't have that real spirit that you would get if you were somewhere in, in the West. That's the only difference with, uh, or the big difference between uh, Christmas here and Christmas in the West. And it's understandable, this is not a holiday for these people, and this is not part of their culture and society for the most part. Very few Christians here. So um, it's, it, it does lack a little bit of that, that, I mean, that kind of spirit. But people are in a good mood, and they do enjoy the idea of Christmas. And uh, you can see that with all of these uh, Christmas decorations around here. Yeah, I know, but I mean, if this was in Taipei, man, this place would be packed. I and mean, this place would be just crawling with people right now if this is in Taipei. So that's my point, is that, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, for me, it's unusual to see this. This reminds me of a suburban mall uh, somewhere in uh, Canada or the United States. In Thailand, did you say something about Thailand? I know, like, because Thailand, uh, again, like all these shopping malls in, in even smaller towns, cities, in Thailand, like Chiang Mai, are very, very busy at night during the week as well. So it's odd, and I have heard that they, you know, they're um, they're slow to getting things going here. Not all of the outlets are open here as well. But I thought this is kind of a cool. This is this is a really nice um, uh, decoration, and people are uh, out here taking pictures. This big sort of giant globe, which is kind of cool, and then the lights around here, and you can see the palm trees. Taiwan is tropical. I think a lot of people will eventually go here. You know what's going to bring a lot of people out here is that new MRT station. When that MRT station is open, this place is going to be crazy. It's going to be crawling with people. I'll tell you that right now because people will hesitate to come on the bullet train or the, the uh, high speed rail out here, but they will definitely come out when that MRT is open. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for watching. We'll take a quick walk through here, and there's another really big Christmas tree I want to show you guys as well. Yeah, once it's uh, easy to come out here, and it will be very, very soon, this place will be very, very busy. There's lots of outlet stores, designer um, luxury brands out here as well. But uh, I gotta tell you, like I'm, I'm so used to really busy department stores, shopping malls and things like that during the week even, and uh, it's definitely choir hill, but I'm not used to being in the burbs, uh, Jevons. Jimmy Choo, yeah. 
want to see? I think this is where Jevons buys his shoes. Did you guys see that? We'll go by. I wonder if we can show them uh, that maybe Jevons' latest pair. Those are the ones, right, Jevons? Those are the ones you got, right? Those ones right there? Nice. <laughs> okay, I, I've got a really beautiful Christmas tree I want to show you. And thank you so much for watching. Feel free to share out the broadcast as well. We're getting more people watching and it's really cool. Thank you so much. Far East Adventure Travel in, tai, in uh, Taiyuan, Taiwan. Uh, Taiwan. Well, they have knockoffs here. I don't think it's anywhere uh, as out of control as, as it is in China. I think they have, I think the government and the laws uh, here are more respectful to um, copyrights and things like that. I mean, they do have a lot of people uh, uh, um, copying things, but not necessarily uh, actually using the brand. You can get that type of stuff here, but I, I certainly don't see it as widespread as I have uh, in China or in Southeast Asia for that matter. I don't see as much of that fake stuff sold here. But the, the people here are very industrious and they will take fashion things and like, um, I can't, I don't want to give you brand names, but they'll take a popular brand name shoe and they will copy it, um, uh, but not like to the degree of it is a fake. Yeah, it totally is insane and they have a real problem. Uh, other countries have a real problem with China not enforcing that. China has all kinds of, like they have fake, uh, iPhone, iWatches, all kinds of stuff like that, that I don't think you'll ever see in Taiwan. Uh, in Melbourne, they have great, I'm sure that, I'm sure Australia, like the nice, the big cities in Australia must have a wonderful uh, Christmas celebration there. I'm sure they have amazing lights and they're, it's a very affluent country as well. Hey, MJ, how are you, my friend? Thanks. We are uh, live here in Taiwan. This is at the Gloria Outlets Mall. And uh, I'm out here because I wanted to show everybody the uh, bullet train station, the HR, HSR station here, and the new um, MRT station that will be open soon. Um, yeah, no, I'm sure it was when it first opened up, but it's, it's kind of quiet now. But uh, I think it will do really well once that MRT station opens up. That's going to be like a license to print money because people from uh, all around Taipei City and New Taipei City will be, just be able to hop on the MRT and, uh, and make a quick trip out here. So I think uh, it's going to be really good actually for definitely for travelers and, uh, and for local people to get out to some different areas. It's a little more inconvenient if you uh, have to come out here by bus, which is one of the only ways you can get out here. Other than, like I said, I took the HSR, the high-speed rail, out here. Uh, but right now you can't, they don't have an, uh, the, the, the high-speed rail does not go right to the airport, and I don't think there's any plans for it to do that because they built the MRT for that purpose. So it's one of the best MRT systems in the world, and other uh, countries come to Taiwan to study uh, the Taipei MRT. Uh, because it's such an efficient system, it rarely, rarely ever breaks down. And I don't think I've ever been on it when it's actually completely like pooped out or anything like that. And where I come from in Vancouver, Canada, oh my God, they have that issue um, every now and then and it just wreaks havoc on everybody. Look at this, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, Geelong. Yeah, Geelong is great. I've been up there. I will go up there and scope. I'm planning on going up there to scope the uh, night market again soon. So if you're not already following me, uh, feel free to follow me because uh, right now I'm in Taiwan and uh, doing all kinds of different broadcasts around Taiwan. And uh, I will be out traveling on the road again soon. I was recently in the Philippines, also was in Vietnam this year, Thailand and China as well. So, yeah, but it's so quiet here. I think they have a little show here, but there's nothing going on tonight, maybe just on the weekends. You have a G-Lung too. Oh, okay. But yeah, so quiet here. 
And if you uh, missed uh, the beginning of the broadcast, I do have some video footage that I shot that I uh, played of uh, my trip, uh, the uh, train station, the uh, high-speed rail station in uh, Taipei Main Station, uh, waiting for the trains to come. So if you want to have a look at what a high-speed train looks like in uh, Taipei or in Taiwan, you can watch the replay as well. Oh, it's near Melbourne. Oh, that's very interesting. Now there, there you go. That is the new MRT. They're doing testing on it right now. That's the new uh, MRT uh, train going by. Hey, Louise. That's the new MRT. So did you see how slow it's going? It will normally will not go that slow, but they're, they're testing. They have to do lots of safety tests uh, before they'll open it up to the public. And they've been doing that for months now, actually. And uh, so that you can see it in action, but uh, will really make a huge difference to travelers coming to uh, Taiwan. I think it's going to be amazing. Hello, how are you, Bjorn? And we've got some fantastic scopers on, so you guys feel free to say hello so people can follow you as well. I, I normally don't scope malls, but I came out here to show the new MRT station and the bullet train station and uh, get some more uh, Christmas flavor to everybody. And this is one of the newest malls around uh, northern Taiwan. I think it could be the newest uh, shopping mall in uh, northern Taiwan. And uh, it's taking a little bit of time to catch on. It's really quiet, but you know, as, a, as somebody that's been around here for a while, it's kind of a refreshing thing to kind of walk around in a place where it's not super, super crowded. This is, if you're from Taiwan and you're watching this right now, this is what it would be like if you were in the suburbs in, uh, say, in Vancouver, in that area, in British Columbia, Canada, this is what the suburban malls would be like during the week, this quiet. <laughs> Virtual shopping. Yeah, well, we saw where Jevons buys his shoes earlier. They have all international brands here. Um, and uh, I think some East Asian centric brands as well, like this Blue Way here where they sell like jeans and shirts and stuff. It's a big mall, yeah, it sure is. And it's not like it's a, a yeah, as you can see, it's more like an outdoor style mall, which are getting to be more popular, I know, in the West, uh, in, where I come from in Canada. These types of shopping malls are a little more popular now than the old style that are all covered. <laughs> They always shop for fun in Taiwan. But uh, Christmas, of course, if you haven't been watching any of my broadcasts before, Christmas is not celebrated formally here. It's not a national holiday. And uh, there are very, very few Christians on the island. So for most people, it's just a, a, a fun time of year. And they have parties, and sometimes they exchange gifts with people at work, or you might buy your niece a gift, uh, or nephew, or something like that. But I, I, I do, I, I keep saying this, I know, but it's uh, so refreshing to kind of walk around and not be in a really crowded place for me, because this is what I grew up with. I love the crowds, though, by the way. That's what drew me to Asia in the first place, is the, the bustle and, and the excitement. Yeah, North Face, yeah. Great timing to hold a party, yeah, totally. And thank you guys so much for watching Far East Adventure Travel. And I'm also taping this for my podcast that's seen in the iTunes store as well. So I'm very uh, happy to share this with everybody that watches my podcast uh, in the iTunes store from around the world. And again, if you uh, would be so kind as to write a review in the iTunes store, whichever country you're from, I would really appreciate that. That really does help me with my ranking uh, as far as uh, people being able to find out where I am uh, in the iTunes store. It does help a lot. You want to see inside the stores? Yeah. Yeah, video podcast I do. It's in the iTunes store. It's called Far East Adventure Travel. And I've been uh, uh, producing it uh, for two and a half years now. And uh, it just recently got ranked into the travel guide section of the iTunes store in the United States, which is pretty cool. But uh, the, um, the reviews always help me uh, uh, do well as far as being able to be seen more in the uh, iTunes store, easier for people to catch my podcast.
Thank you. And we'll, uh, I think what we'll do is maybe we'll, we'll go up the escalator and we'll kind of look down. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll, we'll go up the escalator here and kind of look down at everything. Uh, that's right, yeah, in, in, uh, in Taiwan they frown upon and, and most department stores or malls will have signs saying no photography uh, inside, so, uh, but here it's cool, but yeah, it's a little bit, they would probably kick me out if I walked into one of their stores with this gear. So I have two iPhones and an iPad going right now, so I, I kind of look conspicuous, kind of. But here is okay. Outside here is no problem. So you see these lovely palm trees that are lit like tropical Christmas trees. And here's another view of this mall. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding, hey? I always look crazy, Louise. It, uh, there's no getting around that. I've been interviewed three times by uh, Taiwanese uh, television reporters while I've been scoping. Check that out. That's, that's pretty. This is actually nice. This is a nice place for somebody that is uh, uh, normally in Taipei City a lot to pop out to the suburbs and it's a little more laid back here and uh, lots of space to walk around. It's kind of cool. Uh, Taiwan media love crazy stuff. I know, I know, I know. Um, uh, so yeah, it's kind of a, a nice place to come around here and, and chill out a little bit. Um, uh, Taiyuan is the fifth biggest city in Taiwan and many, many uh, high-tech companies have their uh, head offices out here or factories. Uh, HTC is out here and a, a, a list of others that I can't remember all the names, but the one I know the most and that you might recognize is HTC. And uh, so there's a, a lot of uh, commerce out in this part of uh, northern Taiwan. And again, this is where the International Airport uh, is and it's called Taiwan International Airport. It used to be called Chiang Kai-shek International Airport, but they changed the name uh, many years ago. And uh, actually out in this area as well is Chiang Kai-shek's mausoleum. And I still have yet to scope that, but I would like to go out and scope that one day because they have an honor guard out there for him and he is in Taiwan District as well. Actually, uh, I, would, I, would have to, I would have to tell you, uh, I have uh, traveled all through East Asia and Southeast Asia, and this is an anomaly, seeing a shopping mall this quiet um, during the week. Now, I haven't been to a lot of mall openings, but I have been through shopping malls all over Southeast Asia, and of course, Japan, Korea, and Taiwan. And uh, this is very, very unique. Now, I know this isn't maybe culturally what I normally bring you, but uh, this is a very interesting sight to see something like this here in East Asia. But as I said, that M this is the, the new MRT station is right here. And once that opens up, uh, it will change this uh, shopping mall for sure. Uh, this will be a destination place for people to come. Kaohsiung, how are you? I am making plans to come down to Kaohsiung very, very soon. I am really dying to get down to Kaohsiung. I have never scoped from Kaohsiung. And Kaohsiung is the second biggest city in Taiwan, for all you people watching that uh, uh, don't know. It's in the south. It's the biggest port in Taiwan. And uh, there's lots of really cool things in Kaohsiung. And uh, it's definitely different than Taipei. So hopefully in the next few weeks, I'll be uh, able to come to you for a few days from Kaohsiung. So. To everybody watching in the south, I look forward to seeing you guys. It's a nice time of year to go down there too because when it gets chilly here, it's a nice little warm retreat because that part of the island is tropical. Dream Mall? Oh, that's cool. That's very good to know. I will check that out.
a Japanese restaurant here as well, a ramen restaurant. Well, ramen, as much as I like noodles, ramen is a bit of a problem for me because I don't eat pork, and I think pretty much every ramen dish is uh, pork, right? <laughs> but I bet you it's good. They have a food court here. And this is, uh, I think I'll come here more often because either it's easy to get a seat. Yeah, exactly, the uh, uh, ramen broth is almost always pork. Okay, see you, Louise, thank you so much for watching. Check this out. This is really actually quite nice. It's quite nice out here. Take one. I'm going to walk a little rise around here and then come back down. And I think that's where I'll finish the broadcast right here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, also, feel free to uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Far East Adventure Travel on both of those. And I post uh, pictures and video daily. I think I'll go try the food court. Sure, why not? I'm out here. Trying to find, I'm sure I can find something good to eat. There's always good food. You know, that's the other thing. Uh, um, all you guys from uh, Taiwan and around uh, East Asia or Australia is, uh, I don't know about uh, um, where you live, but I'll tell you something. Uh, in Canada, the food court food is just not that very good. And so people kind of look down on food court food there in shopping malls. But in Taiwan, Food court food is actually quite tasty, quite delicious. And I found actually in most uh, malls, like in Thailand or Vietnam or, um, geez, just about anywhere, uh, the food court food is quite delicious. There, another look this way. That's where we came from. The Christmas tree is down over there. And see, there's even photographers out here. Lots of really nice shots you can get here. Not a ton of selfie seekers out this way. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching Far East Adventure Travel tonight uh, in uh, Taiwan, in Taipei, uh, bringing you some of the Christmas cheer here around Taiwan, and hopefully I will be in other parts of the island very, very soon to uh, share with you how Christmas is celebrated here. And wherever you are in the world, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year from uh, Taipei, Taiwan. Thank you so much. Hello, Michael. Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching Far East Adventure Travel. Thank you, my podcast viewers. Hope to bring you more uh, replay podcasts from around Asia on Far East Adventure Travel in the iTunes Store. Thank you so much for watching. You're welcome. Uh, xie xie, good night. Merry Christmas from Taipei, Taiwan, and Taiyuan District, Taiwan. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>